Hello guys, this is Sachi's Cave. Welcome to my channel. Here I am helping out to make website design and development skills. If you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that whenever I am uploading the new videos, you will get notified every time. In addition to this video, also I am providing the source code that I am using so that you can use for your own projects so guys today's topic is called how to make inside pages okay with using booster 4.5.2 in my previous video you can see I have made a uh, five video tutorial with how to make home page with navigation structure revolution slider owl carousel and also I view the fancy box with header top and a banner footer search filter everything is there to continue with this same video, I have given the phase 6 with using Booster 4.5.2 phase 6 video. Here, I have given the inside page. In inside page, I have given one inner banner, one main title and also I have given one breadcrumb, one left side image with relevant you can give, a relevant inner banner you can give, one abstract content and one paragraph. With several, you can give the several paragraph also there. So. I have made the home page one home page and I have made one inner page here I am going to describe you how to make the inner page so guys for download the source code you have to go some simple steps first you have to open my website called sachiscape.com then you have to go to articles page there I have given lots of articles from there you have to select the specific article called Busha 4.5.2 page 6 version there you have to explore more and when you explore more you will see the descriptions with small description whatever I have given and image thumbnail also there from there you have to download when you download the button it will redirect you to the Dropbox when you click the in a Dropbox you have to download the files same you have to paste in your jamf or wamp folder if you want to know about the jamf and wamp you can see my previous video in the description box you can see there in my phase 2 or phase 3 i have given the description about the uh, jamf and wamp why is not working uh, when i have used the revolution slider you have to paste this file in the jamf folder then you have to access localhost slash phase 6 whatever if you have some different name you can give the different name so i have given my folder name is called phase 6 so i have accessed the local host slash phase 6 before you have to start the jam server also from there when you access the file you can see the inner page i have given only the inner page like one inner banner and uh, one uh, main title and one breadcrumb with content when you open your folder structure it will look like this the same thing you can see the CSS structure is there and the fonts file is there then you can see the image structure is there and also the JS structure is there in the previous video I have given everything for the how to use the revolution slider owl carousel fancy box with continue with this video I am making the inner page but here you can see only the inner page with additions with the JavaScript and CSS here the same fab icon is there then you can see the index file and one custom CSS. The index and custom you have to open in Notepad plus plus or you can use the Dreamover. Right guys? Then when you open your index file index file, you will see the code structure is like this. Nothing is changed. Only I have added in this video, I have added the inner banner, one title, page title, and also the about us with breadcrumb and abstract one paragraph and one image if you are in the specific page you can see the activation link also there if you are showcase page you can give your activation link also because you are in a showcase or about us page you have to show for that you have to see here the navigations i have given li class active you are in a about us page so that i have given li class active if you are going to give one what will happen the activation will disappear if you are want to give the inside this is the certain standard we have to follow so that i have given if i am in a about us page i have given the li class active for the about us page then 
you have to give one relevant image this is the inner banner you can change also your inner banner here how i have given the inner banner like this like you can see i have given one comment with inner banner div then you can see the banner i have given the slider banner one you can change as per your requirement like you can make one another folder instead of slider folder you can see the slider folder also there because in the home page i have used the slider folder the same folder i have used you can change this is the slider folder path you can give for the inner banner there is a different folder create a inner banner and i'll show you how it looks banner one copy and make one folder called inner banner for because is a easy process because if you are making multiple image and one folder structure it was very difficult to find so that if you are going to give inner banner and the page name is called about so it's easy to access for the anybody is like a, and also if you are going to make is for you also accessing is very nice and you can see here you are going to add inner banner inside the image folder there is a folder called inner banner okay then the file name is you change the banner one to about dot jpg you can see what will happen same see so you have to give uh, images slash inner banner slash about because your Im about image is inside the images and inner banner so after that you can see i have given the background repeat no repeat if i am going to give repeat what will happen because sometimes your screen is like a, your image is 1920 okay if you are, your, your screen is like a, if you are seeing in uh, a 5000 pixel screen means big screen what will happen the image is going to repeat after 1920 so that we have to give the background size the image is cover uh, sorry no repeat because if we are going to no repeat the image is not going to repeat it again after 1920 after that you can see here i have given the background size cover what is the meaning of background size cover if your image is 1920 and your monitor resolution is 5000 pixels it will cover the background because it will even if it is 1920 image it will go to the 5000 pixel if it is 500 pixel monitor it will also fit everywhere whatever the, your monitor size is changing so that's why we are giving the background size cover and you have to give the background position center and top you can change uh, rather than uh, bottom top means uh, the center position you want to show the background image also the center sections everywhere whenever you are going to take a pic the center position supposed to be identified so that we are given the background position the image dimension is center and the top this portion you are going to see if i am going to change this background position bottom what will happen you can see b b o t t o m what will happen you can see here and everything you have to give in a small letter no caps letter so center see the bottom position center and the bottom position is showing if if you are going to give left bottom left bottom what will happen you can see the left structure because it's a small monitor so the center and the left is not changing because it's a small monitor so basically we are giving the center and the top positions whatever is coming okay then you can see i have given one title and one breadcrumb this is called breadcrumb because this is the structure is showing like from the where you are coming like you are, if you are in about us main page or about us about 1.1 suppose you are in about us so is showing from the home page you are coming to about us and the page is called about us okay in the left side you can see the page title and the right side you can see the breadcrumb so that whenever you are going to see like this is the breadcrumb structure 
here i have given the breadcrumb and after that you can see the inner content okay guys in the breadcrumb you can see the code one h1 tag because this is the main tag like heading tag so it's a h1 tag and css like i have given this colon d6 because the divided by 6 i, I told you the bootstrap is consisting 12 grid systems so that this is i have divided by title and the breadcrumb divided by 6 and 6 so that it will come colon d hyphen 6 is coming h1 and colon d hyphen 6 is coming breadcrumb in the breadcrumb i have given the class ul class ul class if you are going to defining or you can define like a breadcrumb inside the deep breadcrumb you have to define in ul because if you are not mentioning the title uh, means the class if you are not mentioning in the ul it will uh, affecting the other ul wherever you are going to implement the ul listings okay so that you have to define the ul class breadcrumb then ul class breadcrumb li li this li is having a navigation because uh, from here if you are going to click the home page it will go to the home page so that i have given home page a href index.html and target self if you are not giving it will go the same page it will open if you are going to give target blank it will open the different page with a different tab okay guys here i have used the font of some icons as i told you in my previous video how to use the font of some icon you can take it from there then you can see the about us okay if you are in a up uh, if you are going to i'm going to show you if you are in a about 1.1 1.1 so how you're going to write like copy this one and paste this is about 1.1 then the page name is 1.1 then here in the about us you have to copy this one okay because you are from the home page then about us then you are coming to the about 1.1 so you have to write like this home page about us then one about 1.1 if you are having a page give the page about okay if you don't having a page you can give the hashtag if sometimes in the main tab we don't have the page but we have to show the page structure so you have to give like this home about about 1.1 but suppose you ha you don't have an navigation like in the about us you don't have a page only you have a page under the about us about 1.1 so but you have to show the st navigation structure with breadcrumb you have to give like this here you can give the hashtag here you give the index.html and here your page and this is your page title then you have to give the relevant image you can give the relevant image with one abstract content and also you can give one paragraph how i'm going to write the same i have to write like bootstrap structure here you can see i have divided the bootstrap structure here i have closed you can see here i've gave the col col lg means large 4 col md 6 col lg 8 the paragraph and the col md 6 okay i'll show you this is the small you see this image in a small structure and the contained paragraph is a bigger so that it's divided by 4 into 8 means in the big screen you can see the image is small if you are going to see the 1199 or 991 or 767 you will see the difference what is this see i'll show you 1199 what will happen you see the small image and the big content for that the code is col lg4 and the content the col lg8 you can see here col lg4 col lg8 okay for that you can see the structure small image paragraph big you can see 991 what will happen you can see the image 6 and the paragraph also 6 here i have written col md6 for the image col md6 for the paragraph okay you can see 767 what will happen the image is full and the paragraph is full 
and the image is coming uh, the full and the paragraph is coming full how i didn't write the cola sm12 and cola sm12 but how it's working it's automatically will take if you are going to write the cola sm12 or if you are not going to write is automatically will take but better i didn't write here but better sometimes it will affecting your design so that you can write cola sm hyphen 12 and here you can write the cola sm hyphen 12 this is the perfect way to write a code for the beginners this is the perfect way to write a code cola sm 12 okay maybe sometimes it will affecting your design so better to write the cola sm hyphen 12 you can see everything is there and uh, also the breadcrumb is coming under the about 1.1 you can see 991 what will happen the left side is the main title the right side is the breadcrumb i will show you the css how and where i have written for that because i told you in the media queries you can write everything so whatever your convenient whatever your thing as per the design you can write so you can see here i have written everything by captions title everything you can see the comment also you can see here the breadcrumb the breadcrumb everything is there in the media queries suppose if you want to see where i have written for the breadcrumb the left alignment you can see inspect inspect element you can go to the line number directly select here the line number 767 padding right everything is there is line number is 821 you can go to the 821 line number down you can see the 821 line number float red if you are going to write the float right because the main i have write the float right to uh, the breadcrumb because it's supposed to give the float right alignment you can see the normal CSS, the float right alignment I have given because the main title, the left alignment and the right alignment is the breadcrumb. You can see here, uh, we can open, you see the breadcrumb is float right alignment, font size, padding, everything is there. But in a 767, because sometimes the title is coming bigger in a small tab, so that if you are going to for the safety side, is going to the down and the navigation is uh, breadcrumb is a right alignment it's not right so that better to give float alignment right if i'm giving the float right 767 what will happen see so this is the case so you can write everything as for your convenient as per your requirement you can uh, reduce the font size main title everything you see everything is structured and aligned the footer is coming central line everything is designed if you have any doubt you can ask me also you can comment me all right guys now we are going to end up with this video if you are really enjoy with my tutorial please like subscribe and press the bell icon so that whenever i'm uploading the new videos you will get notified every time you can follow me with my social media accounts thank you stay safe bye bye